What is up, Lord of the Rings fans? My name is Trevor, and welcome back to another episode of Middle Earth Mondays. Every Monday on my channel, we like to go over everything Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, and this is actually going to be the last Lord of the Rings-related video for the next couple weeks. A supporter of mine, Adrian, has been asking me week in, week out on Mondays to rank The Hobbit movies, rank The Hobbit heroes, and rank The Hobbit villains. I have to rewatch those movies this week, so Adrian, The Hobbit rankings will all start coming in the next couple Mondays, but today we are going over the top 10 Lord of the Rings moments. Now, obviously, there's more than 10 amazing moments from the Lord of the Rings trilogy, so make sure to comment down below 10 moments that you guys absolutely love from these three movies. These are the 10 that when I think about, it just makes me feel so good inside. It, it gets me like, gives me the heebie-jeebies, it gives me the chills, and it makes me realize why I love the Lord of the Rings so much. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started right at number 10. This is coming from the Fellowship of the Ring when Gandalf falls to the Balrog in order really to save everyone else. He has this basically full-on standoff with him on a bridge and the Hobbits and Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, and Barmir, and everyone else, they're all safe. And Gandalf rises to the occasion, you shall not pass, a very quotable and amazing line from the Lord of the Rings franchise. Gandalf ends up breaking the bridge, getting the Balrog to fall, but then the Balrog throws a whip, catches Gandalf down, and Gandalf, we all believe that he dies. Fly, you fools, what he says to all of them to save them, and then eventually we find out in two towers, he comes back as Gandalf the White. A very memorable moment for me, one that when I first saw this movie as a little kid, I was so sad that this old Gandalf guy is wizard. Who is this guy as a little kid when you're watching this movie? he's gone and how is our fellowship going to fare without him and they did pretty dang good without him but it's a very emotional scene and it packs an extremely heavy punch number nine is going to be from the two towers when Aramir and Gandalf save the day at the battle of Helm's Deep this is one of two moments from this battle but this one is so cool because at the fifth day at dawn look to the east and Gandalf's there with Aramir and the riders of Rohan they come down they bring the light and they save everyone who is about to be just completely screwed by the Isengard Urukai. they come down they take out the rest the Urukai and they save the city and it's such a cool shot that Peter Jackson captures. I mean it's a very wide angle and they're running down the light meets the dark perfectly and man it is beautiful it's glorious and it gives you chills it gets you hyped up and it is one of the most iconic moments from this amazing trilogy. My number eight is going to be a really badass solo moment from the one the only Legolas when he comes in in Return of the King and he takes on a full Muma kill which is the elephants with all the guys on and basically like a tower on these huge elephants and they're called the Muma kill and Legolas takes on one of them by himself climbs up the arrows that are in the elephant takes out every guy cuts it all down takes the Muma kill out of himself and has one of my favorite lines from the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy. That still only counts as one, said by Gimli. Their banter is so great throughout this entire trilogy, and that moment alone, just watching that Legolas is just... He's one of the baddest of the bad. Of course, they had to give him that one moment in The Return of the King, the final movie in the trilogy that Legolas may just be the most bad person on the Fellowship. So, it's such an iconic moment, such a badass moment. And again, the Legolas and Gimli banter, it really solidifies its spot on this list. At number seven is also going to be from Return of the King at the Battle of Minas Tirith. I am no man. The iconic line said by none other than Eowyn. She witnesses her father be killed but as he's leading his troops. All the were here. I'm like, we saved the city. And he's so happy. He's so excited that they came in, they did what they set out to do, and the Witch King, he takes them out. He goes there, a woman who, they didn't want her there. She's the only woman there. One thing, she's a man because she's disguised as a man. She fights him. The Witch King is holding Eowyn by her throat, saying, you fool, no man could kill me. Mary stabs him in the lay. She rips off her helmet and says, I am no man. A awesome moment for every fan there. You just got so hyped up. You got so excited that A1, everyone kind of slept on her throughout. Aragorn came over the cold shoulder. So did they. They didn't want her to come on and he ended up taking out single-handedly the best warrior that the Mordor had to offer. It. I Am No Man is one of my personal favorite movie quotes of all time. I am a man, so I can't say it too often, but it's still really, really awesome. Number six is also going to be from the Two Towers. Ride out and meet them is when Aragorn's talking to Theoden. and they are basically barricaded in the keep, which is basically like the safe zone in the castle, and the Urukai are banging on the door, and Aragorn remembers that Gandalf told him to look to the east at the fifth day, as I mentioned earlier at the number nine spot, that... Aragorn tells Thaden, let's ride out and meet them, and Gandalf basically is going to, he knows that Gandalf's going to come down and meet him as well, because Gandalf is a man of his word, he's never late, a wizard arrives precisely when he meets him, and Aragorn tells Thaden, ride out and meet them for death and glory, they go out there, the 10-15 guys they have left, and they go out there and they make a statement, and 
They end up winning it all. That her act of heroism is so inspiring and uplifting that when the odds are stacked against you, if you can try and rise to the top, you might just be able to go there. When your back's against the wall, you have nothing else to lose. You are a truly dangerous team. And they went out there. It is so cool to see. And as I said before, the Aramir and Gandalf come down with the rest of Rohirrim and truly save the day. Breaking us into the top five is going to be from the Return of the King. Aragorn's speech at the Battle of the Black Gate. Basically, they have... 500, maybe a thousand guys left over going against basically like a hundreds of thousands of Mordor orcs and trolls and the Nazgul on their dragons as well. And Aragorn gives this iconic speech of it is not this day, this day we fight. They go and they charge at them and they try to keep the eye fixed on them. All the while, Frodo and Sam are trying to drop the ring in Mount Doom, destroy it, keep the eye fixed on them, a really act of bravery and heroism to maybe make a huge sacrifice in order to win overall and save the rest of Middle Earth. A amazing speech and an uplifting speech and, and this is Aragorn's moment he goes out there he's kind of like new king of Gondor he is return of the king and he goes out there and he takes everyone even though everyone's scared he grabs them and he says let's go and he's the first one to charge and he gives that iconic line for Frodo. Another one of my favorite movie quotes of all time. I love this scene so much. I love this battle so much. And this is my favorite movie of all time. And in this speech right here, everything that he says is just so uplifting and inspiring and powerful. And it's epic, to say the least. Number four is going to be Theoden's speech. King Theoden gives his huge speech to all of his Rohirrim army as they go to battle Minas Tirith and everyone puts their spears out and they all yell, yeah. Not too much going on, but, but I have a really fond story with this. I was at a track meet once and this kid came out and basically started walking in front of everyone, saying Theoden's speech and started yelling, yeah. And we all started yelling, yeah, back to him. One of the coolest moments of my life, so that this one really holds a soft spot for me. At number three is coming from the Fellowship, when Boromir basically dropped the role of a villain and came back as the hero, stood up for Merry and Pippin, fought, I mean, a bunch of uruk and then ultimately lost his life in order to give the Hobbits a fighting chance, in order to get Frodo to be able to get out of there, and try to just do what he could to make sure the hobbits were safe. He realized he made a mistake trying to take the ring from Frodo because the minds of men are easily corrupted. Boromir makes the ultimate sacrifice. He is the ultimate hero in this scene and it's the perfect way to send him off. An emotional scene. He's so badass. He's so awesome. He starts blowing his Gondor horn. So all the other Urkai start running after him to get away from the hobbits. Try to give them a fighting chance. The ultimate act of bravery and another huge act of heroism and is an inspiring moment to say the least. My runner-up moment is going to be coming from the return of the king. Aragorn's wedding, basically the tribute he gives to the hobbits as everyone's bowing down to him. You get to see Faramir and Arwen, you get to see Legolas, you get to see everyone there like, wow, all of our fellowship that's still alive is here, our team is still here, everyone we got to meet along the way is here. And then Aragorn sees the hobbits. Frodo, Sam, Merry, and Pippin, they all bow. And Aragorn gives one of the most iconic lines ever, my friends, you bow to no one. Everyone bows down to these four hobbits who went on a journey that no one thought they could do, and they basically did the unthinkable, and is one of the most emotional moments of the entire trilogy. But my number one favorite moment of the Lord of the Rings trilogy is going to be coming from the Fellowship of the Ring, when Frodo's on a boat at the very end, trying to leave by himself, and Sam comes out yelling, Frodo, and Frodo tells Sam that he's going to Mordor alone, and Sam says, Says that I know and that's why I'm coming with you. Frodo's in the middle of a lake. Sam can't even swim and he goes out there just to show that he is there for Frodo. He is his ride or die. He is his best friend. He is his brother. Any acts with brothers and best friends really hit home for me. Sam tells Frodo again. I've told him that do not lose him. Let's go together and Frodo wouldn't have made it as far as he did without the brave Samwise Gamgee. So therefore, it is my number one favorite Lord of the Rings moment. Go ahead and share your guys' top 10 favorite Lord of the Rings moment down below in the comment section. Obviously, there's more than 10 amazing moments from this amazing trilogy. I would just love to have an awesome conversation about Lord of the Rings. Anything Lord of the Rings down below in the comment section. If you guys are still watching, comment down below. Hashtag Middle Earth Mondays. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor and go see a movie. And I'll see you guys next time.